Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to Jake Rowe. Thank you for your continued support and congratulations on your progress as well. All y'all out there, whether you see it or not, God sees it and I can see it. A little bit of progress every single day. Fantastic. Keep going. And also, uh, Jake, for inspiring this video because there's some people. Somebody needs this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, because we all find out, whether it be a neighbor or somebody in the town or whatever who is a narcissistic abuser or a psycho or a sociopath or whatever, and we all have experienced this, okay? And so what happens is like, okay, because, you know, not all of us can just up and move like that, right? Okay, so, and not only that, we don't have any, let's say you didn't have any plans to move. You shouldn't let the narc force you to do that. No, okay? Because eventually the narc is going to have to move on. Oh, yeah. It's just a matter of time. Remember how God tells us that the enemy's time is short, Okay, yeah, so that's a big part of it. You know, it might be five or six, seven years or whatever, but eventually they are going to leave because what happens is they, you know, it, it's kind of like that old saying that they wear out their welcome. All right, so we're going to dive into this, okay? If we, if any of y'all are still dealing with a narcissistic abuser in the neighborhood, so to speak, okay, or nearby to keep hanging around, let's say, for example, you frequent a certain store, and the people like you, so yes, I'm going to borrow this example because it's a really great one. It, you know, you go into a store, you frequent there, the people like you, you like the people, you've gotten to know them over the years and things like that. You don't let the narc force you to stop going Okay, don't let the narc force you from, you know, or keep you from going to a place where you, you're welcome. Okay, what they'll do though is because if you have a specific, let's say, kind of routine, this is where we say you got to switch it up a little bit. Okay, oh yeah. See, the narcissistic abusers, they like predictability so that they can do this kind of uh, weird way of stalking, if you will. So let's say they know you go to this place on a certain day, around a certain time, and they just happen to be there. They just show up, okay? Uh, and then they're going to try to see if they can get a rise out of you. Uh-huh, right, to see if you will step out of character. Because if we have it in the past, remember, the enemy will always try what used to work in the past, okay? So this is another way he does this. And so, if the narcissistic abuser was able to get a rise out of us previously, okay, to being awakened and saved and reborn again in Christ, then they're going to keep trying that, okay? And so, they'll keep tabs that way, right, on where where their target is going or where their target hangs out or frequents the store or whatever. That's why we say switch it up a bit. And what we mean by that, okay? Because that way you won't be as predictable, and so you won't run into, because that's the whole thing right there. That will delay a little bit of the healing process, okay? The ruminating phase to help you get out of that a little bit further is you know, by switching it up, being less predictable, okay? Yes, it's going to mean you got to learn how to be a little bit spontaneous from time to time, okay? Because you can do that, right? You switch it up a little bit. doesn't mean you have to stop going there, but maybe pick a different day, Okay, pick a different day at a different time, something like that. Okay, you and the Heavenly Father will work that out on how to go about that. All right, so that's that. But and that goes for any place that you frequent. Okay, if you're if you are if you follow a particular pattern, uh huh, yeah. So then the narc will know that pattern, right? And so on purpose, the narc will it's not that they just showed up. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that they knew your pattern, they knew your routine, so to speak. So that way they can make sure that they're there. And that way you see them, all right? They want you to be reminded of them. That's what prolonged that ruminating phase, okay? So just remember that. We can switch it up a bit, all right? I mean, I understand now if you've got a regular job or what have you and they keep showing up on your job, there's other ways to handle that, okay? There's legal ways, mm-hmm, to handle that. Make sure 
that they don't, you know, by letting the boss know and things like that, what the issue is, okay? All kinds of ways to get around that, to, to keep them from, you know, harassing you on the job or, where ha or what have you. But if you happen to go to a restaurant and they show up, okay, see, that should tell you right there that they're stalking you. And they want to do that because they want you to see them. The enemy wants you to see the narcissistic abuser that used to get under your skin. Wants you to see it so that it might get you to step out of character again. And it keep you in that ruminating phase. Okay? So to help overcome that, you know, switch it up. Okay? Remember, even, even you know, it's like God tells us in Scripture as well. This applies. Okay? It says, you know, when you've been persecuted enough in one city, we flee to another. Okay? Mm-hmm. But that be applied right there locally. Okay? And basically, it's just switching things up. Okay? Pick a different day, different time of day to, to go and be less predictable. And also by moving in silence. Okay? Yes, by moving in silence. And so that really, okay, when, when you have a narcissistic abuser that happens to be in your neighborhood or your town or what have you, that's how you can flee to another city, per se, all right? It's a metaphor here, all right? Because not everybody needs to just pick up and move. If you, I mean, gosh almighty, if you, that, you know what I'm saying? That's your home. I right, don't let, we don't need to let the narcissistic abuser force us out of there, no. All right, because eventually the narcissistic abuser is going to be the one that, once more people start to catch on, seriously, once more people start to catch on around in that area that they're dealing with a narcissistic abuser, one who starts to throw temper tantrums because they don't get their way, people start to see this stuff. And so what happens is that narc is going to wear out their welcome. Okay, and it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. And this is another reason why through tribulation work is patient. Okay, we have patience for that. We know that's what's going to happen. Uh, they are. They're going to end up, they're the ones who are going to pick up and move. They're going to have to because they've run out of supply. After all, that's what they need. Okay, in order to feel as though they exist. They need that supply. So once people, uh, other people stop giving it to them, you know, once they start to see through the shenanigans, then that narcissistic abuser is going to be, they're the ones who are going to be forced to leave because they are not getting their supply anymore. So they're going to go and seek a new town, a new place, well, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is, <laughs> okay? They're going to go, and then eventually, you know what's going to happen. Same thing. They're going to continue in their wicked ways, and people are going to start to see through it wherever it is they go to. And eventually, this is why we say that over time, you know, once they get, you know, the aging narcissist, okay, the narcissistic abuser, as they get older, the harder it is for them to maintain or even get supply and then maintain it because they get, in, they get more impatient, they get more desperate, and it really shows. And so those who are aware and awake and can see that that's not normal behavior coming from someone who is old enough to know better, and people will see it. And so eventually the narcissistic abuser is the one who's going to be forced to flee. All right, so that's it. All right, so, but for anybody who needs that tip right there, it's okay to switch it up so that you're less predictable. If you're still dealing with it until they finally, until the narc finally leaves, okay? Because it's going to happen. All right, so just switch, switch it up a bit, you know? I'd be a little bit more spontaneous. Okay, so for example, to help y'all put it in perspective, right, whenever God puts it on my spirit to take a business trip, I don't, I don't necessarily have to plan those out, you know, months in advance or anything like that. Sometimes it, oh, okay, switch it up. Might be less predictable because the enemy likes predictability. That way, it can send his flying monkeys to continue trying if he knows your routine, so to speak. Okay, like if he knows you are, you, you this is like, like clockwork, okay? So we, you know, we change things up a little bit, all right? So, well, you know, if there's a particular restaurant, but let's say there's another restaurant you've never tried before, you'd like to go there instead on that day, boom, switch it up. 
You know, all kinds of different examples. So if y'all got some other tips and examples on how to, you know, just switch it up a bit, let's drop those in the comments below for all of us to learn from each other. Because there's many different ways to do that. Of course, you know, we, with the Godhead, work that out, okay? But these are just some examples to help y'all. You can modify them, you know, however, whatever works for you and your current circumstance. Okay, but yeah, let's share some of those in the comments, everybody. Seriously, I would love to read some of y'all's suggestions because I know many of y'all figured this out. But for those who haven't, this this is and a reminder for those who need it that you can do that. Okay, we don't have to, huh? -uh, we don't have to be like this, you know. Uh, no, okay, we don't have to. Not not in life. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we can be a little spontaneous. Okay, it takes a little while to get used to doing that. Yes, okay, because many of us, until God awakened us and got us out of that narcissistic matrix, we were conditioned to believe that, okay, this, this is the way it had to be, this is the way it goes, blah, 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 because that's how the comfort zone gets formed. And so we're like, okay, so we have to step out of that comfort zone, okay, so that we'll be less predictable, and so it will be harder for the enemy to send one of his flying monkeys if he doesn't know what time, okay, that's another part of moving in silence. You know, once you switch it up, don't tell nobody. Just go, just switch it up. You ain't got to tell nobody. Uh -uh, between you and God, that's it. Just switch it up. And then, you know, the enemy won't know. Remember, the enemy does not know unless we speak it to someone that he has access to. The enemy does not know what we're working on when we move in silence, when we keep it between us and God. The enemy does not know. He cannot read the mind. That's why he wants to get in there and try to control the, our thought. So we learned that, all right? But it's all good to switch it up, okay? So don't let anyone tell you, you know, because it, it might, listen, y'all, yeah. It may feel a little weird at first because you're like, oh, this is so out of out of uh, the norm for, for what you would usually do. Well, that's okay because that's going to help you. Uh-huh, going forward because we got to step out of that comfort zone. Can't, we can't let ourselves live there. Uh-uh. And so that's part of it because that comfort zone, it comes with that predictability. So that's what the enemy wants, okay? And so we got to get out of that comfort zone. And you, or the more you do it, the more you, just like with everything, the more you practice that, okay? To switch it up so that they can't more, they cannot easily stalk you anymore. All right, there you go. That way they can't, they won't be able, the enemy won't be able to, you know, predict or know that, the, to send the flying monkey at this particular place at this particular time on this particular day. He won't know anymore because you switched it up. And so that will help you not run into that narc, okay, that happens to be in town or in the neighborhood or city or whatever, okay, it happens to be in your area. All right, so there you go. All right, as always, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me for additional insight, information, and other good stuff. Check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.